hello hello welcome back to we're doing stuff in go and i'm using my mouse wheel last time we set this up and we got it oh so good looking and it's it's vaguely functional like if i hit the clapboard i can do this oh wait a minute i think i have the wrong answer set up does Godot use signals yes ha 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 i've got the wrong answer ah eh, whatever let me fix it real quick because button one is right. I clicked on question box and then I set my little bool. So this is kind of a suck game. <laughs> I think I say that a lot, but we're going to fix it. We're going to make it better because your player is never going to see the print statements. Right? So this is what they think the game is. Let's go. Let's let's at least change the text. I'm going to go into questionbox.gd. See this label? Actually, gee whiz, let me get out of question box at GD. This label right here, does Godot use signals? That's the text. We can change the text on the fly. It's not that serious. We have to, um, we have to define it first. I have gotten some extremely well-deserved comments that are like, you can control click and drag it in. Yeah, most people can control click and drag in nodes to define them. I'm really bad at it. So I'm gonna try it in real time, but no promises. Control, drag, didn't work. Control, drag, didn't work. Let's try click, control, drag. Oh God, that was it. Whew, you just saw me do that in real time. In 3.5, what I figured out was you had to hold control first and then drag in. What I just did was I clicked and then held control and dragged it in. Either way, doesn't matter. We've got our on ready var label. Label equals all this garbage that lets it find it in the scene tree. The, okay, so this is a path. If you're old, you know what paths are. Or you're just really good at computers, you know what paths are. So if button one is right, let's come down here. I want to talk to my label. Hit a period, and it's got a property called text on it. And as long as I put it in quotation marks so that Godot understands it as a string, I can put whatever I feel like in here, really. You got it right is completely fair. The user is going to see it this way, so it's probably best to put something grammatically correct and not like, because that's going to look like doo-doo. Let's go back to the good one. Here, I'm going to hit Control-Z. You got it right. Else, if we mess up label.text equals that isn't right. Sorry. We've got to do something stunningly similar down here. Label.text equals we got it right. Else, label.text equals that isn't right sorry save it click the clapboard now if i've done this correctly does godot use signals absolutely it does fam if i click the right answer it should say you got it right if i click the wrong answer it should tell me that that isn't right working as intended Best practices would be to test this with it flipped. So let's just do that really quick. I turned button one is right off. Does Godot use signals? I mean, we know we know that this is flipped. So like, okay, it's working. It's working all the way across the board. I'm going to turn button one is right back on. So right now, like it tells you if you're right or wrong, but it doesn't do much else. It just kind of sticks around. We gotta solve this problem piece by piece, bit by bit. My thought is that the user should not be able to click an answer after they've clicked an answer. Right, you get one shot, and then I'm gonna tell you something. The quickest way to do this is to just take the buttons away. Do you see these eyeballs over here? I th think I played with them a little bit in the UI episode, but I haven't really told you what they do or what they're for. The eyeballs just hold, or they toggle visibility. Thank you, Godot. But if you click them, 
goes away. If you click the, see the little winky eyeball? It's winked, it's closed. But if I click it back, it, it toggles the visibility, sorry. I can toggle the visibility on individual buttons, but if I toggle the visibility on the HBox container, because these two buttons are a child of HBox container, see the little, the little marks, the little tree? Makes them all go away. So here's my thought. If we've if we've answered, oh, I need to define HBox container, otherwise we'll never get this right. Let me click, hold control. Mm, when she's good, she's good. Um, I am gonna take that underscore out. That's picky of me, but I'm gonna do it. Each box container, if I want to hide it, it's really simple. Good old GD script, whatever you think is right is what you type. I'm going to type hide. I'm going to put two parentheses on it. That is a function that is on most nodes in the game, at least most visible nodes. It can't go wrong. So now it should hide. I'm going to copy and paste this under everybody. So it goes right there. It goes under this label text, goes under this label text, save it. Click the clapboard. Does Godot use signals? Yes, I did get it right. Thank you for noticing. Click the clapboard. We're going to test it the other way. Does Godot use signals? No. Oh, that isn't right. Sorry. So, oh God. What do now? We could. It would be a valid design choice to like put a button down here that says go on or whatever. I think I would like to just let the user click anywhere and dismiss this box. That's what feels the best to my head. So let's take in an input, which means we're going to use the built in input function input. Cool. Godot knew what I was, it, it got my vibe, so it typed it for me. We only want the box to go away. Now, let me show you. Ah, it's going to be a poopy butt. Let me. Okay. Are you okay with that, Godot? Thank you. What? Oh, because it's running. Stop everything, hit save. Now please show the good people what I'm asking for. I don't want the user to be able to click this away right now. That wouldn't make any sense. I only want the user to click this away after they've answered the question. The question should only be answered if the HBox container is hidden. And there's a property for that. We can use that. Hbox container dot visible. If this is the same as false, haha, because it's a bull, you can only be visible or invisible. I guess you could be transparent, but that's not what that measures. So if you can't see the Hbox container, I'm going to show you something else real quick. Click the, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you. We can't see the HBox container right now, but if we leave it as is, it's going to disappear so fast that the user can't see you got it right. I could put a timer in here and have it like appear for 30 seconds or whatever, and then go away or three seconds and go away. You did it. Yeah, I want it to click. So. If the HBox container visible is false, and we can put two conditions on an if statement, and input, we actually did this way back in the beginning. It's how we roll the dice, is action just pressed, and we made UI click. We've already got it. Q. 
Godot has a special built-in function for getting rid of stuff. It's called QFree. And real, like the technical definition of QFree has to do with the scene tree and all this. I control clicked on it and I can get over here. So like it puts the node into this little thing and then at the end of the current frame it deletes the, isn't that cool? Just think of it as the get rid of function. Let me save. Let me test it. Clapboard. Does get OU signals? Yes, it does. Got it right. Oh man, I'd like to go back to my game now. Click Q free. We did it. We did it. This is currently working. Real quick before I go, why does she keep saying clapboard? This is a scene. You knew that because it's a bunch of nodes taped together. It's in the scene view. I've got question box TSC in down there. It is inarguably a scene. I'm just running this one scene for testing. And I do that by clicking the clapboard or I suppose hitting F6. If I click play, it's going to play the whole game. And it's going to take me over here to the pink piece. <laughs> You, I, it would not surprise me if you've accidentally done that. That's fine. Everybody accidentally does that. I'm hoping by me saying clapboard every single time that you'll go, oh boy, clapboard and not hit play. That's all. Just trying to make it a little bit easier for you. All right. I am going to cut here. You have an excellent one and I will see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.